Molly! Molly, what the hell are you doing, Molly? No! We're gonna lose her, guys! Quick! Alright, intern, let's get her back in. How'd she even get over there? Of course you're really hungry. You're not gonna find any kelp to eat over by the- Well, I guess that's the kelp cafe. But that is not my point, Molly. You can't eat those flowers. Wait, ma'am, ma'am, you could have alerted the staff, ma'am. Look at her. She's just standing here taking pictures of the otter show. She could have gotten the staff. She could have alerted one of the zookeepers that Molly was in desperate need of help. But no, that's okay, that's okay. She was too distracted with our very, very cute little, uh, cute little ones there. Let's see, where are you, Molly? Okay, she's taking a nap in the, the kelp bed. Intern, that was the final straw. That is just too much. Too much. How many of our manatees have jumped ship now? Molly, are you okay? Are you doing okay? I think she'll be alright. No peach the second. I don't want to swim with you right now. Oop. Empty feeder. Uh-oh. Hey now. Are you- are you two? Jackson? Jackson's swimming with Cleo. Cleo, did you, uh, just become pregnant with another manatee? There's so many babies! Oh, by the way, Cleo gave birth yet again. So we have Western Manatee number eight. Whew, goodness. Are you a boy or girl? I can't remember. Let's see. Um, little girl. So this one shall be... Hmm. I think... I think you're gonna have to give me an idea in turn, because we already have Molly and Molly the second. Oh, but you know what? It can be Cleo the second. After her mother. <clears throat> But you know what, intern? Look- oh, the manatees are really- look at them! I think we're about to have a lot of new babies, because now Molly and Molly the second are swimming with their mates. Oh my goodness. I think- I think that we're gonna be covered in more manatee babies pretty soon. We better get ready. But I've had enough of them jumping out of their tanks and stranding themselves. So before we get started on some of our really big- uh oh, what seaweed can you not reach? Oh, that's no good. We gotta watch the otter tank. Oh, by the way, Samantha the second is pregnant. We're gonna- <gasps> And speaking of babies- Oh man, look at all these sea otters. This is what I like to see. Lots and lots of sea otters. No, no, I've been kidnapped by a sea turtle. Let me go, let me go. But by the way, speaking of babies, I have a really awesome surprise to- sh Ah, dang it, sea turtles. Stop it. I'm trying- They're so excited to see me and I'm like trying to fill up- I am so done with you. Honestly, guys, trying to fill up your food here. Oh, hi. Hi. What you doing? Look at the sea otter. It's just sound asleep. Dang it. Highly affectionate little guys, but I'll come back later when they're not, not distracting me so much. But, oh yes, the surprise. All right, come along, intern. We're going to zip over to the other side of the zoo. And... Over to our dolphin to and there she is. Busy pooping, just like animals tend to do. There she is. She's our fourth baby. Or well, excuse me, our fourth bottle nose, our second baby. A little female. Oh there you are. There you are. Hi. I think that's you. Look at her go. Hi little girl. You're gonna go play with the clam bubbler? Are you gonna play with the clam bubbler? But I have not forgotten that you had name suggestions for names in turn. Nope, nope. This one, however, uh, let's see. Yeah, Allison gave birth to another female, so that's two little girls. So I will take up your name of Sally that you suggested a while ago. If they have another girl, we'll name her Allison the second. But that's very exciting. So our dolphins are spreading quite well. Uh, the sea lion was actually pregnant. I don't think she's given. Did she give birth? <gasps> she did give birth. Oh, there we go. Sea lion number three. Oh, yeah. Man, things are just going, like, absolutely bonkers. We have so many babies just popping up everywhere. What seaweed? Ah, Keeper Martin? I swear. But because our manatees keep beaching themselves, and because we want to make sure that we take care of some of the lingering projects we haven't gotten to before we get to the big new ones, then we're going to go ahead and expand this area and can you imagine how happy that's going to make our green sea turtles they're going to have so much more room to stretch out in oh they're going to love it let's see what calcium wetlands is that really the biome you prefer manatees 
Well, that's interesting. Let's see. Green sea turtle. Coastal biome. That's what I thought. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock out the little maternity pin here. And we're going to lower this. Lower the entire tank so that we can make another uh, land area. Like we did over here with these guys. I think everything will be all right too because just the sea turtles will crawl out and be able to be on land and hopefully the manatees will stop beaching themselves because I'm quite concerned about that. We better check them. Uh-oh. We need to scrub the ammonites. Honestly. Oh man, it's so cloudy. I can hardly see. I wonder why we have to like manually wash our ammonites. It seems like such an odd thing, but if we don't do it, they get sick. Oh, there's another one. They haven't had any more babies either. I'm hoping that they'll they'll have more babies soon. Oh, which reminds me, I did get your note, intern. So uh, there we go, groom the third one. And I will rename our female. Hmm, this tank almost looks like it could be expanded. Let's see, that's our milk. crypto. How'd you lose your name? Crypto. There we go. And where's our female? Right here, Nessie. So of course, their little girl. The only one they've had so far is going to be Nessie the second. Just so we can keep track of family lines. Oh, and turtle 144 is going to lay an egg. Oh my goodness, so many turtles. So that's going to be our big project this time. Also, I have some very exciting adoptions lined up. I'm really excited about the Hawaiian monk seal and the rock hopper penguins. I'm thinking they would be pretty fun to add. Also, we have the shortfin pilot whale, which is actually a deep sea critter that can do tricks. So we might consider that one too. But all right, let's get this tank expanded so that finally our sea turtles will have some proper land and the manatees will hopefully stop jumping out. And you know, this is a, a pretty nice tank. We could probably add something in here. Hmm, let's think about that. Though the manatee population is really starting to like grow. Quite, quite, I, mean, I wouldn't say it's as bad as the belugas. Not getting out of hand yet. All right get down here. Let's remove this fencing in turn. And then we're going to fill in that, well, do we really need to fill in that hole? Yeah, because we need somewhere for the guests to be able to walk over here. Let's see, sell that seaweed. Maternity pin, you served us well. Alright, let's move the tree fern over here for now. Move the donation box over here for now. Yeah, and we don't want to lose these water filters. The water filters are half the reason we can even keep this tank. Wait, get over there. Hey, you too. Shoo. There we go. I mean, do you even want to guess how many turtles we have in here? I think it's upward of probably 50 or 60 right now. Maybe that's a little high, but not, not, not that high. All right, let's remove the carefully. All right, let's remove all these sand paths. And we're finally starting to make a pretty good profit. I went through and redid the beluga shows since we had lost a lot of the belugas. They had just passed away uh, who previously performed in them. So I updated it with belugas that we still have. Let's see, let's fill this in. There we go. Ooh, and we've got more donation balloons to go check on in just a little bit. All right, so next up, we're gonna, this is kind of tricky, so we're gonna slow down for this. We're going to make this tank much deeper because we're going to be losing There we go. We're going to be losing the height. And we're going to take this tank, kind of lower it like this. There we go. Oh goodness, that's silly. That is quite silly. Oh good, I didn't know we could do that. There we go. Okay, lower the tank entrances. Now let's get the marine, where is it? The marine fence that we used last time, the low marine fence. Hey now. Hey now, don't be silly. Don't fuss at me. All right, then let's bring it out all the way out. Whoops, hey, that's definitely not what I want. All right, there we go. Do you see it intern, little, little stone thing that we're going to be using? Ooh, though we could use the underwater fence. That is an option. Where's the marine fence? Let's look at it. I don't know. I think the marine fence is kind of cute. It has personality. 
Let's peek at it. Peek at it. Alright, so that's what that looks like. So, what does the underwater fence look like? Hmm. Hmm. It's very cool. I mean, we could do a lot with the theme. I guess it would match the Kelp Cafe. Hmm. Or we could do this little stone fence. Little stone fence. Badunk. Hmm. These kinds of decisions shouldn't be this complicated. <laughs> shouldn't take me this long. Low fence. Or just a nice plain low concrete fence. I like that. <laughs> it's plain, but it does the job. Doesn't complicate things. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's make like a little little in area right here. Where people can kind of come inside and check out the animals. Because the turtles are going to be the ones coming up out of the pen most often. The manatees aren't. So there we go. There's that. And then... Yeah, just that wall. Oh, that wasn't nearly as hard as I was worried it was going to be. Good. Alright, before we start working on the inside... And we can do that now. What do you guys think? Boom! You're going to have plenty of land to lay your eggs now. Alright, let's... Take this out. I don't know, maybe we'll take that back in. I'm having second thoughts about this little expansion area now. There. Good job. You're an expert path layer by now, intern. Got that down. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, got that down. Oh, Koopa just passed away of old age. In his honor, we need to grab one of his descendants. Where's a baby? This tank is always full of babies. Is that a baby? Or is that a crab? I think that's just a crab. Is that a baby? That's Troopa! His sibling, that's a crab. Where's the babies when you need them? There's all, this tank is always full of babies. Manatees, you aren't eating the babies the way that they're being eaten over. Over in the dolphin tank, are you? Because that would be quite unfortunate. Okay, we'll wait for one of them to hatch. Because there's some eggs right here. And, well, are you named? Ah, good, you're not Well, you're a female, though. And your mate is Slowpoke. That's kind of funny. There's Peach the second. There we go. Here's an unnamed male. Alright. Troopa the second. I think it was Troopa. Or was it Koopa? It was Koopa. Koopa the second. Mm, Koopa. Green Sea Turtle 146 is now pregnant. You guys just don't wait. Hmm. Actually, in turn, I'm having second thoughts about this. We'll do a little internal, a little, like, inside decorative piece. Alright, let's get this over here. There. There. Okay. Now let's get the land kind of decked out. Good. A little bit of that. Put more sand along here. Whoops! Didn't mean to open up our budget. There! You know, I really do think that we could add some more animals in here now. That wouldn't be so bad. Alright, let's let's get some tropical landscaping things in here. Move the donation box, and then we have made quite the nice little zone. Ooh, a pomegranate tree. Don't think that's uh, relevant, but there we go. Ooh, look at these. Ah, oh, ooh, bamboo, my weakness, not bamboo. Oh, you know how dangerous it is every time I come into the, oh, look at that tree, I like it. You know how dangerous it is every time I come into this catalog, every time we start looking at the greenhouse items, I just want everything. These cabbage trees are actually amazing. I would love cabbage trees. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, let's see. Hmm, or should I do coconut palms? I don't know. It's kind of, they're kind of cool. Little coconut palm trees all stretching out. Common teak. Galapagos tree. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I like you. You want to come over here? Put a couple of you right there. 
All right, and we'll deck the area out just a little bit in turn. Actually, I want to put you right. Uh, yeah, right there. Try to make it look nice for all of our little ones. Let's see, the palm tree. No, that's a desert. More of a desert tree. Grayer tree. I think we're good. Indian gooseberry. Island oak. Hmm, King Sago. Oh man, I love the trees. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that one's so cool. Actually, I think I want to swap the cabbage trees out. Sorry, cabbage trees. You're really cool and all, but... Hmm. Oh no, Rogue the Third just died of old age. We're gonna have to get more manta rays. It's actually kind of tricky to keep the manta ray population up. Yeah, I think these guys are doing a little better. They're all frilly and palmy. I'm sure that our guests will enjoy that. Don't think we need that. Little ferns. I think we're good there. Let's see, Portia tree. I think we're okay. Rainbow eucalyptus. I think we're okay. We probably want to keep the smaller, the smaller palm trees and things over here, so that the turtles have plenty of room. Hmm. Yeah, I like these guys. Do I like them better than these guys? Hey, hey. And Winter, Winter also wants to reproduce. So what we might do is because we want to do big shows with our bottlenose dolphins, we might start saving up the $15,000 that we would need to get our dolphins again. Let's see, is this low enough for you guys to get out? I think it is. Yeah, that should be plenty low enough for the turtles to get out. Once they figure out, they can't get out. I'm going to sell this deserted island so that they have a little spot. Come on, dude. What do you think of it? What do you think? See? Look, you can crawl up here on the land. Ooh, and look at these pretty rocks. I'm going to put some of these gorgeous rocks up here. Bam. Mm-hmm. Just have to figure out the right way. To, like, I don't have any problem. Blending, blending the look so it looks like the fence came out of here. Yeah, I've got no problem with that. Green sea turtle 146 just gave birth. Well, green sea turtles, I will admit, just from donations, you guys have earned your expansion to your exhibit. And hopefully the manatees will stop being so silly and tossing themselves straight out of their tanks. I really hope this helps. There? Yeah, let's put it more more over here. Yeah, there we go. The shows are going on quite well. Let's see what else what else could we put out here for you, huh? <laughs> a splayed giant kelp, that's a that's a possibility. The orange puffballs, which I think are so cute. We'll throw a couple in there just because I love them. Sea buckthorn. Hmm. Sea rocket. The two sack grass. Might do some of that because we do want to make it really nice so that the sea turtles feel like they can come up here uh, and lay their eggs. So we might do, let's see, wild caper. Goodness. <laughs> some starfish. Oh, I love them. All right, let's see. Let's get some sea rocket up here. That should do. Yeah, we'll get some, we'll get some nice plants for up here. Where you going, dude? Into the water? Let's make sure that it's the right height. Don't want him to have any problem. Yeah, he should be able to get into the water okay. It's the exact same as over here, I believe. Let me peek. Yep, exact same. Whoa, more eggs. See, look how many eggs there are. Our green sea turtle population is not having any problem. All right, there we go. We'll figure it out. We'll make sure that she can get up and down. All right, good. Well, okay, and let's see if there's any any land-based entertainment items we can give them. No, no, and you like your food in the water. That's just fine. But I think that they are gonna be happy that they can now wiggle on up here, come up and they can give birth. Let's see. Do a little palm forest. 
Yeah, I think they're gonna appreciate that they can now come up here to give birth instead of having to to deal with climbing up on the deserted islands and sometimes one of the other sea turtles is sleeping on it and it just creates chaos and havoc. There we go, now we're starting to see something. Thank you for your patience, intern. I know you roll your eyes sometimes when I get so involved with trying to make things look nice, but come on, these sea turtles deserve it. They've been with us for a long time. Yeah, let's, let's get rid of this rock, actually. Replace it with one of these rocks? Maybe? Any rock? Mm, okay. Well, I think that... Let me know if you think we should add some more. I think we should add, like, a little decorative feature some right here somehow. But we'll think about that, but there we go! Hmm, let's get rid of this rock, too, actually. Whoops! Not the plant! The rock! Medium island rock, not quite what we want. Oh! Yay! The California sea lion has fully learned how to slide. Well, that's exciting. Let's see, can I get you up here? Oh, that's a pretty rock. There we go. And just like that, it's a pretty and more complicated rock. Oh, what happened? Educational Donation Award. Congratulations! You raised more than $125,000 in educational donations. The headset kiosk is now available for purchase in your zoo. There we go! Alright, so we can start educating people more too. Well, I'm not fully satisfied with how we've decked this out just yet, but the point is, it exists. So we're gonna leave that as one of our little projects that was on our list, and now we've tended to it. And, nope, I don't want to move you, I want to move this donation box. I think we should probably put it somewhere a little more prominent. Do we have a donation box over here? Yeah, we've got one over here, so actually I think it's going to be okay. We'll leave it there for now. So there we go! The turtles now have a little bit of land. Hopefully the manatees will be a little happier too. Uh, we might deck things out a bit more. Gotta make sure... Koopa, does it work? Does it work? Can you get in? Can you get into the water, sir? He's crawling. He's moving. If he can get into the water, then we know it works. Let's see. Oh, look at that! Deep sea enemy! <gasps> so cool. Boom! And there he goes! Okay, so Koopa climbed into the water. We know that it works now. So we are we're doing pretty good. Beardless rabbit foot grass. Jeez, you guys. Calm down. I think we might have to lighten up on how many sea turtles are in the otter exhibit because they're just freaking out. Whoops. And we're running low on shellfish. All right, intern, I'm going to go take care of that and tend to these guys. Oh, look at you eat some shellfish before the otters start eating all of our sea turtles again. And then when we come back, we'll get started on some more of our big projects, which will hopefully include moving the belugas to a big new tank, getting more dolphins, which I think we have enough money for, so that'll be very exciting. Mm-hmm, uh -huh, there we go. And getting the dolphins show up so we can start getting a lot more money for donations and continue working on things. Ooh, and I really want to adopt that Hawaiian monk seal, too. All right, I'll see you then, intern. Let me know what you think we should tackle next. It's starting to get really confusing to have so many... Uh, so many things to do, like getting a new a new mate for winter who is old enough to have her own bottlenose dolphin babies. Hmm, but we'll just keep going on, going on. All right, I'll see you next time. In turn, go get some rest. Bye bye.